episode, we're joined by a very special individual. He's a New York native with a passion for Italian food as strong as my passion for flying. After spending a few years in Texas and realizing that it lacked the true New York style pizza, he established a pizza joint. Well known not only for its restaurants, outstanding pizza and service, his influence on his local community has also gained national attention. From donating thousands of free meals to volunteering at local food banks, he sets the bar for how restaurant owners should be exemplary leaders. Ram Mehta, welcome to the show. Thank you. Ram, in previous interviews, you talked about how you thoroughly enjoy the New York style Italian food that's offered. What is it about the flavor and presentation of that style of food that you enjoy more than traditional Italian food? So let me correct you. There's no such thing as New York style. Okay. Either it's New York Italian food, which is to me authentic Italian food, or it's just a copycat. So I used to visit Little Italy in New York, which is known for the best homemade Italian food. When I moved to Texas around seven, eight years back, one thing I used to miss was pizza. Looked around, didn't find any good pizza restaurants, didn't find, you know, like, there were decent ones, yeah. but... Pizza Hut wasn't cutting it. Oh, no, 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 no. We pride ourselves, and I'm, I'm not just saying us, a lot of restaurants, small restaurants, pride themselves with making everything from scratch. First of all, there's no... Uh, preservatives so everything is fresh it might not taste 100 percent same every time it's like you cooking at home right using the same ingredient it you know sometimes you have a little bit more salt but at least Mm. you know you're getting everything fresh everything locally sourced right and everything made from scratch there you go even the bread uh garlic knots everything the bread with salad with soup we make it fresh. Wow. All right, Rome, we're back here where all the magic happens. And like you said, every pizza starts with the dough. Tell us about the dough and how you guys make it. Better to see that he's the expert, man. The, this guy's been with me from day one. Yeah. That's my brother. Okay, cool. So, so what do we have here? So he's going to get uh, New York water. We keep two gallons. Okay. So that right there is your New York water. That's my life. We started importing waters. One of my friends, uh, he has a lot of trucks. Mm-hmm. And I was just reading, reading online because we would not get that flavor. We started using grande cheese. It's 100% milk. Most expensive cheese in the market that only less than 1% restaurants use. Wow. We make our own sauces, everything. But I was still not happy. <clears throat> so I was reading, reading, reading and I came across an article where it said that why New York pizza doesn't taste like anything when it's outside of New York is because of water. So I started pondering how to get water <laughs> from New York. I looked online, it was too expensive. Then there's a machine that can replicate it again, too expensive, right. but it's not the same thing. And it has to be a New York tap water. Right. Met somebody, he owned trucks, I was telling him, look bro, Please I mean, do I need... for me. No, I was just talking to him, man. You yeah. know somebody, he's like, don't worry about it. Next week he calls me, like, and, uh, go to Oklahoma, I have a truck, I have water 50 for gallons. Wow. I was like, seriously? So, you know, me and him became close friends and every week uh, he brings 30, 40, 50 gallons. We have surplus now. So... You're set. We set. Well, I mean, we get it because you want fresh water. Right, of course. But, yeah, we have enough. Uh, So, that's how we started. So, he put an egg. Okay, so there's one egg in there. There's an egg, oil, sugar, salt, the yeast. Even this is, we get that from New York, because even the yeast makes a difference. Is there anything that's not from New York? Except for me and Todd. And him. <laughs> and and her. her. No, vegetables are not from New York, they're local. Okay, they're local. Okay, so we've got yeast and eggs and sugar, and salt. So yeast reacts with the dough. Right. Makes the dough rise. Yeah. Now you'll see. Okay, so here we the go. The magic. We get a lot of people who uh, don't uh, eat, uh, you know, who are like a lot of women who are pregnant. Right. They, a lot of them come here because they don't get a heartburn or acid reflex because everything is burning. There's no preservatives in it. That's impressive. No, bro, you have to be 
proud of what you serve. Absolutely. If I want frozen food, I might as well just go to Kroger, yeah. buy something pre-made and just heat it up in my It literally makes frozen pizza the sauce and put it up. You have to mix it. So mix everything together? Yes. And then the water goes in. So how long does this whole process take? Whole process, 20 minutes. So you guys use Pillsbury dough? Yeah, it's the best in the market. It's the best in the market. Most expensive, but the best. See, that's what I'm saying. When you use premium products, it's worth it. It's worth it. Okay. And so this will just mix for the next 20 minutes? Yeah. And you don't have then to Then he's going to put it, and it's going to rise. Oh, OK, OK. Oh, it's already coming together? Yeah. And then you don't have to go back and add any water to it or, no. or anything else. This is my experience, right? Just, so yeah. he knows how much. So after the dough is made, obviously we go into the sauce. So uh, he put the dough uh, in the back. Okay. And uh, based on that. So you, you ball it up and put it on, on the No, head. he's not going to put it. First oh, he's going to wait for the dough to rise. Okay, the whole then thing will sit there. Then he weighed the dough and cut it based on... And then he makes balls ah. according to the size of pizza. Okay, okay, okay. So. so what they do is they make the sauce. And that takes eight hours. Right? Eight hours. But we make it enough for two, three days. Okay, so there's there's. So they have, we have like... A big tub. Okay, cool. This is the tikka sauce, for example. Okay, that's made this right This takes well. one hour. Yeah, one hour to make. Wow. And then that's the cheese that you were showing us. Yeah. The, and then all of these toppings, are they cut fresh every day? Yeah. Even uh, tandoori chicken, right? See, this is the tandoori chicken we make in-house. We make every two days. Wow. And that's the topping of the pizza. They make chicken fried. Then they cut it. Because it's easy, right? You can't just eat right. pizza. So. Oh, okay. Cool. So on slow days, that's what they do. So that's obviously the process behind the pizza. Tell us about the process behind the chicken wings. That's a secret. <laughs> that's a secret, okay. I will never. We pride ourselves with fresh wings, nothing frozen. Right here. You know our wings, man. Right. You had our wings. I had your wings. You know, we are one of the very few pizza restaurants that 50% of our sales are wings. Usually at any pizza place, their wing sales are five to ten percent. Right. I need two people just for wings. They're good. No, 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 no. It's not good. They're the best. I, I agree. With now you. let me tell you the process that goes in wing. One guy, his job is when we get fresh wings every day. Right. Just to trim the fat off the wing. I pay him seven hundred fifty dollars a week, all day. That's all he does. Every wing he picks up, he trims the fat. It's labor intensive. Then we wash it, marinate it for 12 hours, and then we fry it. Uh, sauces, everything costs money. But you know what? I'd rather give something I'm proud of where people, do. that's why we don't advertise. Like, it's all word of mouth. Yeah. We had uh, Jay Leno, we had Zach Galapinakis, we had, uh, what you call it, uh, Mark Cuban, give us a shout out. Uh, we have all these cowboy players that come. You've got a long list of people. So, yeah, there. I mean, but we never ask for anything. They love the food. Right. They bring their families. And they, they come back. They come. You know, like speaking of pizza, it's, it's easy to get lost in the sauce talking about pizza. And that always brings up the debate of whether or not deep dish pizza is elite. Is that something that you think? Oh, you're talking about pies. <laughs> so, so Nothing that's against your... Chicago, but that's a pie. That's a pie. We'll never see it here. No. I, I, I mean, again, I, I have a lot of friends from Chicago, so don't kill me. <laughs> I love you guys. I love Chicago. <laughs> but sorry, that's not pizza. Chicago, he doesn't love you. All right. This is what Chicago don't have. <laughs> this is New York Giants slice. By the time you're done eating this, it's gonna be, well, you're gonna weigh more, so don't worry. Okay, so the first rule. Okay. Pepperoni. How do you know pepperoni is good? I don't. You see the oil on the top? Right. 
It's natural fat. From the pepperoni or from the, from the pepperoni? Okay. We don't sell any pork. Okay. So it's all beef. Okay. There's no pork. It's beef pepperoni, which is actually more expensive. We have a lot of customers with dietary restrictions right. who don't eat pork, so I don't want to yeah, cater to everybody. And you can, you can tell the difference. Yeah. It actually tastes better. This looks... So pick, uh, just pull this up, that side. This side up, okay. Yeah. Now look at the crust. This is what New York pizza is all about. It's like hard at the bottom, but soft at the top. Damn. This looks this looks beautiful. Have you eaten one entire by yourself? No. Okay, so nobody can finish this. No, people can finish yeah, okay. it. You and I can't finish it. No. Okay. Here we go. All right. We're uh, right. we're gonna we're gonna fold it. I feel like I'm holding a blanket. No. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, and then I just well, gotta eat it. just <laughs> eat it. Three months down the line, Jay Leno, I don't know, he heard about us, that's what the guy told me. Uh, he walks in here and he ordered pizza, he doesn't, ordered wings. He doesn't call ahead or anything, doesn't no. let you know, he just... No. Were you... I was like, this guy looked familiar, bro. <laughs> you, I, I mean, I grew up watching him, but right. if you see somebody... You don't really like... Yeah, you're right. oh, yeah. And he wasn't in no fancy car, he, was in, he came with a couple of guys in a pickup truck. Wow. So, you know, I mean, if you're I could have put you, no, I'm like, like, man, this guy looks familiar. Yeah, I've yeah. seen him somewhere. I was like, oh. And, you know, it was around 3.30. So there was only two, three tables because what happened is when, uh, you know, after rush is over, two, three tables, people sitting here. And, you know, uh, I, I'm standing outside and he makes a joke. Oh, sorry, we didn't make a reservation. <laughs> And after hearing his voice, I, I couldn't put to it. I'm like, oh, that's Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> that was embarrassing. So, and very humble guy, very down to earth, very nice. He ordered pizza, meat lovers. Uh, he wanted specific toppings and we made it. And uh, before he left, he said it's the best New York pizza he had outside of New York. Wow. So, and he posted it. That online. probably felt good though. Uh, it, it did. It means we were doing something right. Right. Okay, so here's the funny part, right? A lot of people, I want people to see this. Okay. This is not burnt. So there's a special kind of oven. It has the base of stone. That's why, so it's not burnt. Right. Any natural pizza, because now you have flour that is actually touching the bottom. You know, it's a 101 for New York slice, it's never gonna, it's not burnt. It's That's chocolate. why it's, it's crispy. That's what it's called. That tastes really good. Wow. So the good thing about New York pies, right? It's not gonna get soggy. You can put it in the oven mm -hmm. for a minute. And it'll uh, be 350, it will be perfect. That's why in New York, when they sell slices, they have the pizza pre-made. Right, I've always wondered that. Wow, okay. This is, yeah, no, the crust is amazing on this. The cheese actually tastes like cheese. I want people to see, it's the most expensive cheese in the market, the best cheese. You look at the ingredients. There's no fillers. Wow. It's 100% milk. Yeah, pasteurized milk, cheese culture, so. Nothing else. So we are proud of what we serve. So, this is just the crust that he was talking about. It's hard at the bottom. This isn't burnt right here. This is from the stone oven that they have that gives us this nice crispy char. But at the top, you can see it's like really fluffy right here. You know, I can press on it right there, but this is hard. And that, according to Rob, is the recipe to good pizza crust. I see your passion for the food and making everything authentic, but I also know that you're very passionate about giving back. And aside from the excellent food and service. Infreda, you know, has made its presence known in the national media that you guys are there to support the community, to support the people that, that support you as well. What inspires you to give back? Life lessons. A promise to my mom who passed away. I'm a high school dropout. I built my life from that. Went through a lot, made some, lose some, but I learned important life lessons. So I know hunger. I know sleeping in a warm train with uh, like two jackets, using the restroom in uh, 
the next uh, station that you get next off station at. with two bags in the hand so i know all that never forget where we came from why are we successful because of the community our business has been hit too all businesses all you know i just closed one of my location right? because of the pandemic my mom she was a very giving lady in india because she's like you know we believe in karma as a sick karma if you do good you get good so back to the point so my mom before she passed away she took a promise from me when i was opening a restaurant that you know make sure if somebody is hungry they don't you know you feed them so that's why that sign has been out from day one what's that sign say if you are hungry or struggling couple of slices of pizza and a drink is on me if my staff treat you any different then a paying customer my number is there thank you for giving us an opportunity to serve you as my guest it's very important see when i was homeless if somebody would even just show me little respect bro that meant more than anything so that's very important sure. to make sure to give back and that's why you started everyone needs yeah tell us about that organization and and where it's uh, at right now and what you plan on doing with it when pandemic hit i saw that the need was great one day a customer who used to work at this mall with along with his family he came and big ordered food it was just the beginning of the pandemic and their credit card declined man that guy just started crying and i started crying and i realized there's a need uh, somebody reached out to me the next day and said oh you know their kids in frisco isd struggling cuz the schools are closed and these kids depend on school lunch so i told them let's uh, so we did like 3 400 pizzas i asked them and these guys hats off to my employees they were like you know we want to be a part of it we're not going to charge for hours right. like cuz they had to come early i had savings i had some stocks i had some investments i sold some uh, funded it then i met some amazing people who were actually more passionate than me about it and you know just stuck off from there yeah i mean i didn't even name it bro it was uh, uh, there was no name <laughs> one of my friends amir yeah. he was like bro are you going to name it i was like name for what name for what he's like you better name it so i up. i was like okay eats cuz uh, everyone eats with the s was uh, some already taken from somebody uh, somebody had it for last eight years there was an uh, inactive site but i was like forget that why is since spent 60 70 bucks extra <laughs> with a z just put a z on it and then i never even registered the name uh didn't had any logo so he was like did you uh register the name we like, know <laughs> he kept cursing me out i did then you know like it's like starting the restaurant you're kind of just learning cause, as you're going cuz i never did these things i'll be honest right. with you i you know i'm like an average person who just give money if somebody needs yeah, yeah. it or but my mother always told me that you know it's more joy when you give it with your From own your hands. hands and that's what we do and you know people would call me oh where can we donate art and i would tell most of the people that you know what just bring toys and drop it right and come and have your kids give, give it give them physically to physically. somebody else yeah and i want people to be involved i want everybody you want to donate don't donate money just come and donate your time donate if we are giving toys buy toys we are giving clothes buy clothes sure. give it with your own hand there you go it's a very inspiring story I feel like we've learned life lessons from you I'm a you nobody bro me. I I'm telling you I don't want uh to get any credit for anything I just want you know if I if somebody can see that what a small business restaurant uh, you know who is struggling themselves and close a location can do with limited means just imagine if uh, 20 30 people the, there won't be anybody hungry in Dallas that's what my next plan is I'm going to reach out to restaurants now because we just created a board i didn't have it was just me doing everything and I, i'm no hero i'm nobody just regular guys like regular people all right so welcome from behind the camera uh you finally get to try some of the food that we were making earlier as well as my uh, as well as my 
And that's the hardest part, like recording close my, up to like the food that's being made. My, gi my giant pizza. This is oh, look, it's like it's like <laughs> oh, dripping. That's, that's what it has to be. Uh, oil in New York. That's what we look for. That's the oil has to drip. If it doesn't drip, so do you, do you see how big this is? That's one slice, by the way. Okay, here you should try some. Okay, try some of this. Okay, so you get the bigger half, huh? No. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, so that's pizza. I wish you try it. Try it. Tell me today. Okay. I, Dude, I can already tell just by holding it that it's something else. It's like you were saying that it's a perfect texture from like the back. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not soggy or anything. For sure. You know, but it has the perfect like warmth. Yeah, that crunch at the bottom. Not that overly oily, top. not overly you know dry or For anything. For sure. No, I dig I it. Know. Okay. So moving on into the wings. We got nice crispy Korean wings, freshly made with a side of ranch because Texas. Um, and again, what he was telling us about these wings is like it's fresh chicken that they take like the skin off of. Like every time it gets here, he pays like one guy just to do that kind of thing. Okay, so let's try one of these. Are you a flat person or a drumstick person? Uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter to me. But I would prefer drumsticks. Really? Yeah. Wow, what? I don't know. It's just like that chunk that's like available. Like but the flat is the flats are perfect. They have like the softest meat in it. And like if it's like spicy, like it gets know. on I your mean, list and it gives you that like burn. Part, so. Okay, okay, okay. All right, well, you grab a drumstick right. and I'll grab a flat. We'll try some of these wings. All right, here you go. You can just hear the crunch inside of like your own. Yeah, yeah, you can bring it closer to you, Mike, and just... Mm. But yeah, camera can't do justice. For the crispiness? Or actually, for like... Any of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so you gotta come here for yourself to okay, so check this out. Okay, so, Ron, what sauce is on this one? Mango habanero. Okay, so this is mango habanero. We use Indian mangoes to make this sauce. Wow. You wow. The, uh, you can get the paste right in the mango. Um, okay, mm -hmm. so mango habanero, I'd say it's pretty sweet, I like the mango habanero. I'd say there's more sweetness and there's spice to it, would you agree? I get, I get both. You get both? You don't want spice to overpower. Mm -hmm. Whoever is expecting mango habanero, they're just expecting a little kick, but the sweetness at the same time. I think it's a perfect blend. No, it's really good. 